All right, so this is going to be a quick review of Supercard of Honor 10 Night 2. Um, you know, Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole were in the main event of that show, and they are wrestling tonight at Final Battle, so that's why I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, uh, get this up quickly tonight before Final Battle. So with uh, with Night 2, this was nowhere near as good as, uh, you know, Night 1. You know, Night 1 was more of a pure wrestling show, j j just an amazing uh, card from top to bottom. Here we had a very, very dull undercard. I, I wouldn't have called this show Supercard of Honor uh, Night 2. Um, I, I just don't think a lot of these matches um, uh, scream Supercard uh, worthy. But, um, you know, th this show had a, a, a great double main event, um, a, a pretty depressing undercard. Um, so I, I think a lot of people uh, watched the NXT show for Night 1, so they didn't really get a chance to see uh, the great show from Supercard of Honor 10 Night 1. And uh, the people that did see ROH, I think they were kind of underwhelmed with this show. Uh, and a lot of people kind of um, went away from the weekend saying that ROH didn't really deliver. But they, they missed night one. So you uh, a lot of people probably went to the wrong night for Ring of Honor. So j just to clear things up there. But uh, yeah, you know, Jay Lethal comes out, uh, uh, defends the ROH title against Cheeseburger. But uh, Coca Cabana comes out. And we got an impromptu match between Lethal and Cabana. Cabana goes over. So, you know, they, they kind of, you know, continue setting up the uh, Lethal-Cabana match at the next pay-per-view. All Night Express takes on uh, ACH and Matt Seidel. Just a short quality match with ACH and, and Matt Seidel going over uh, pretty quickly. But it was a nice little showcase from them. Will Ferrara and Dynavan Dijak. It was fun, but it was kind of a botch fest. There was a huge uh, botchamania chant. Uh, next up, we had two out of three falls. Roderick Strong taking on Bobby Fish. You know, good stuff. I, I would say these two guys definitely improved in the ring together. Their chemistry got better. They kept the crowd engaged for a two out of three falls match. Didn't really drag at all. I thought Bobby Fish's transitions into the, a lot of his submissions, and particularly the uh, the heel lock, were, were flawless. So uh, give Strong and Fish credit. I wouldn't say it was spectacular, but it definitely carried the undercard. And then uh, we had a rap concert with uh, Moose interrupting and just drop kicking the crap out of everybody off the top turnbuckle. Uh, next up, we had the War Machine defending the tag team titles against Silas Young and the Beer City Bruiser. Um, you know, surprisingly, I, I thought both teams gave, gave a great effort. You know, it's not something you would die to see on paper, but got to give these guys credit for just, uh, you know, really working hard and really... Um, you know, just a lot of high energy and a lot of a lot of a lot of impact, and uh, you know, just just uh, just everyone putting their bodies on the line here. Just uh, I just didn't expect it to be that good. So, uh, next up, Dalton Castle taking on B.J. Whitmer. A uh, very very dull match. One one of the weakest uh, Super Card of Honor uh, matches that was ever booked on paper. Um, it just you know, I thought Dalton Castle's effort was good, but anytime B.J. Whitmer was on offense, he kind of bored the crowd to tears. There was a lot of uh, blowjob Whitmer chants. So, uh, so yeah, definitely the worst match of the weekend for Ring of Honor, I would say. Next up, we had the Addiction, the Briscoes, the Motor City Machine Guns, and the Young Bucks in a four-way tag, tag team match for the number one contenders. Um, I thought this was awesome. You know, uh, it, it, watching this match really shows you how stacked the uh, tag team division has been all year. You have, you know, four quality tag teams right here. Just, uh, it was a good match for the live crowd. It's kind of tough to put matches like this together. It, it didn't really feel as competitive as I would have, have liked it to. Um, but at the same time, you just got great action. J just a lot of memorable things for the live crowd. You know, like a quadruple suplex. You had the quadruple uh, super kick on Jay Briscoe from the Bucks and the Machine Guns. Um, you know, j just great action, man. And uh, Briscoes go over, become the number number one contenders for uh, War Machine's tag team titles. So uh, so next up, we have Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, the main event, no holds barred. Um, you know, these, with this match right here, you could feel the hatred. You could feel the tension. You know, right off the bat, Cole attacked O'Reilly from behind during the entrances. And we had a lot of, uh, you know, creative things with the uh, steel guardrail. There was actually a suplex when they uh, set up the steel guardrail. That was pretty crazy. They took out chains. There were some vicious backbreakers and uh, suplexes on the edge of the uh, steel chairs. Uh, very, very dangerous stuff. Um, you know, they did some crazy stuff with the chain. It eventually, it featured O'Reilly making Adam Cole tap out as he choked him out with a triangle choke with the chain wrapped around uh, Adam Cole's neck. So, uh, yeah, I just thought both guys uh, put in an A-plus effort, left it all in the ring. Both guys were exhausted. Uh, this really gave O'Reilly a lot of momentum. Uh, and uh, we look forward to tonight. You know, I, I think... Um, with this feud right here, I, I, I hope it finally ends. I just feel like I've been watching these guys wrestle for, 
you know, it has been about six years now since Future Shock has teamed up at Final Battle 2010. Um, I, I think both guys want to separate themselves from, from each other. Uh, you know, I, I could kind of relate to this. You know, it, it could be kind of frustrating to always be associated with someone else because the other guy's going to, you know, hurt or help your reputation as well. So, um, so you, you could see the frustration in Cole and you could see the frustration in O'Reilly. It, it's, it's a big match. This matchup really feels, it really feels a lot like Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels, you know, more so than probably any other, uh, you know, matchup ever. It, it really does. Um, the uh, the interesting thing about it right now is um, it's still up for grabs. It's still up for grabs about who's going to end up being Shawn Michaels, who's at, who's going to end up being the Marty Jannetty of the group. Uh, I think it could go either way. Obviously, Adam Cole is uh, you know breaking out on the mic right now. I, th I think he's even improving. I think this is uh, this is his title reign right here. I think he's going to you know escalate himself to you know see on punk level on the mic. It looks like he's heading in that direction. But at the same time, if O'Reilly was ever going to win the belt, it would be tonight. You know, the, the guy's a hell of a wrestler. He, a lot of people have compared him to, you know, maybe a Brian Danderson, maybe a Davey Richards, having that type of uh, success in Ring of Honor as the ROH World Champion. Um, so we'll see what happens. I think if you're ever, ever going to put the belt on O'Reilly, you got to do it tonight. But I just don't see it happening. I see Adam Cole retaining. Uh, this would be no disqualification. I believe O'Reilly requested to make it uh, a no DQ, so no excuses. So we'll see. I think this is a great undercard. You know, you, you could have the debuts of uh, Marty Scurll and Will Ospreay in the United States in Ring of Honor in a four-way match for the television championship. You got the Briscoes and the Young Bucks, uh, Jay Lethal and Cody Rhodes, uh, Coca Banner, Dalton Castle. I'm not going to say this is going to blow anything out of the water, but um, I, I do think Ring of Honor has done a good job over the last couple of days hyping up the show. Um, so we'll see what happens. Let me, let me know what you guys think, and uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with a review of Final Battle. All right.